Hey guys, welcome back. So today it is the 1st of October, it is the start of the traditional pike fishing season in the UK. Um, I'm going to just run through, I've been noticing a lot of people asking on Facebook pages, they're looking at starting off lure fishing, they're looking for a setup. Um, people might be either new to fishing in general or they might be new to pike fishing. However, these items I'm going to show you are considered to be essential if you're going to be looking at starting off pike fishing. Um, and it's for your protection, it's also for the fish protection. So to start off with, you need to decide on what type of lures you're going to be cast in. Um, they all have different weights and stuff, and that's going to determine what size of rod you're using. A lot of rods we'll have right at the bottom here, it will tell you the casting weight of the rod, it will also tell you the length of the rod. Once you've decided that, you need to decide on a reel. This is a bait caster set up, you can see here. So that is fished like this, so effectively with the reel on top and the rod eyes pointing towards the sky. Um, another one is for the traditional fixed spool method. Um, you can see here and the eyes and the reel are both pointing down for fishing that. So you're going to need then some braid. I use um, spider wire braid, um, Duro silk here, at £80. And £80 is not because I'm hoping to catch an £80 fish, I wish. Um, it is to recover my lures. So if I get caught in a snag, I'm either going to um, straighten out the hooks, get in trying to recover this lure, or I'm going to bring up or snap off that branch, whatever it is that's stuck underneath, I'm going to recover my lure. I'm not spending £20 on a lure to lose it um, because I've bought cheap braid. Um, next, you're going to need some traces. I prefer making my own traces. Um, there's lots of different brands out there. Here's Savage Gear, part of the last meter range. Um, perfectly good. Um, 15 pound bacon strain this one, 50 centimeters. Um, I think you got about three or four in a pack, and three in a pack, three or four pound. Um, they're great. Okay, so you've got that set up. You're going to need to then land your fish. So you're going to need a landing net. This one here is the one that I personally use. It's a Savage Gear XL rubber mesh. Um, again, rubber mesh is a preference. Um, I find it doesn't mark the fish's skin. It's also great for taking hooks out of um, personal preference, but as long as you have a large net, you don't want to be putting a long fish into a tiny net and effectively doubling it over. Um, that's a no-no for me. Um, okay, so you've managed to get your um, fish into the net. Next we're going to need a landing mat, this is my one, um, Fox Rage make this one, it is a metre long as you can see and it is for measuring the length of the fish which I tend to do more than measure the weight. Um, you can buy the more traditional um, mats which are about 6 or £7, perfectly fine by the way, um, that's just a personal preference. So in terms of weighing then, you can have a weighing sling. Sorry, that was just the scales dropping. Um, you can have a, a weighing sling, which is this here. Um, so you put the fish in it, weigh, weigh it first, and then you hold it up and get a weight. Um, or you can do what I do and just weigh it in the net. Um, make sure when you're weighing though, that you um, attach the scales to the metal part um, rather than the, the net part, because that has a chance of snapping, and then you're going to be dropping your fish. Um, do, not, do not please measure the fish by putting it in its gill. I will find you if we do that. Um, okay, so you're going to need to unhook your fish. Um, different options for that then. You can use forceps. Personally, I hate forceps, um, especially up here in Scotland. It's freezing cold and trying to use forceps is just impossible in winter especially. Um, so you can use pliers. Um, long nose pliers, you can see they're quite long here. Um, they're about 6 feet and 17 and a half stone, so you can see how wide they are. Um, or you can use this, which is called a hook-out pistol, or an unhooking pistol. Um, this is my personal favourite. So, into the mouth, pull it out. Simple. Um, on that then, you're going to need a set of these, and try and buy the best ones that you can. Um, these ones are made by Fox, no, in fact, by Grey's, the Grey Prowler um, range and they are perfect. They're coated as well, just make sure you rinse all your equipment and let it dry out properly after each session just to prevent rust. Um, and these are great. I've never come across anything that these can't cut yet in terms of fishing. I'm sure there's plenty of 
bits of metal out there that won't cut through but in terms of fishing these are perfect and um, there's going to be situations where you just can't help but cut the um, hooks out of fish um, and you're going to need these um, having a much cheaper set you're going to struggle you're going to end up leaving hooks and fish and you're going to then kill them um, okay so next then i would suggest is buying plenty of hooks so you're going to either um, have to replace your hooks when they get dull or you can sharpen them which are a pain um, instead you can buy something like this this is just a pack from ebay um, the size one trebles and um, there's about 30 of them in here i think i spent 10 pound on that or you can buy smaller packs this is size four generally i tend to use size one or two just depending on the size of the lure but i have different sizes for the different sizes of lures that i have um, and lastly, what I would suggest is using something like this. You've seen me using these in plenty of my videos before. Um, they are great on the end here. They've got a split ring plier. You can see it at the very end there. Um, they also have a flat part for crushing barbs. And they also have this part in the middle here, which is great for cutting braid. And it can also cut some types of wire. Um, not all, not the stronger types. Um, I just struggle a bit on that. But perfect, and it's only a couple of pounds. Just set TV fishing multi tool, and that is you. You're good to go. Um, so that is generally what I would suggest is the bare minimum you should be using um, whenever you go fishing for pike. Um, let's say it's going to be much easier on you. It's going to be much easier on the fish if you have all the proper equipment. Um, and again, just enjoy your fishing. And thanks for the support. And I'll see you next time.